This is a lesson plan I created called Putting the Self Back in Selfie, Using Filters and Effects in Smartphone Photography. Photo filters like Facetune are commonly used in social media to create an illusion of perfection. The result of these fil filters is the homogenization of the face and the bodies that we're exposed to. The eyes can be enlarged, the skin is made poreless, and often lighter. At best, these filters erase our identity by toning down our uniqueness. At worst, it can lead to dysmorphia and dissatisfaction. But can we use filters in another way? In this lesson, students will discuss and explore their own identity. Students will then create a self-portrait on a smart device using filters and other photo editing software in a way that expresses an aspect of their identity rather than hiding it. Students will post their work to a private Instagram page for class discussion. My main objective is to have students think critically about the content they see in social media. I want them to consider their own approach to expressing identity and decide how to incorporate that into their final image. They will analyze what photo editing is and what it's used for, discuss and define their personal definition of identity and how they'll use it in art making, create a self-portrait using a smart device that utilizes photo editing, display the work on a private class Instagram page and participate in critique of the art, pro of the art produced in class. So here are two images that I used. One is of Kylie Jenner, who everyone knows, and it's from her Instagram page. And the other is from an Australian Nigerian visual artist named David Uzochukwu. And it's also from his Instagram page. So the big questions are what is identity and how do photo filters mask or express that identity? You know, most, um, the same, I'm going to use the same or in different learning activity from Project Zero also to compare and contrast these images. We're going to compare and contrast them in content, intent, and the message that they send out. What is it meant to be? Is it meant to be art? What is meant to be communicated? So most students will know how to use their phone cameras and use apps like Facetune or Instagram. I want them to look for a new perspective, though, on viewing and creating content that is heavily edited. Are they going to use it to express an idea or to be deceptive? So the outcome, students will understand the ways that filters are used in social media to homogenize appearance. Students will have a working definition of their personal identity and how they wish to express that. Students will know how to use at least one photo editing app to create effects, and students will know how to create a self-portrait using a smart device that expresses their own definition of identity. So for assessment, um, I would do formative assessment, which would be in-class discussions, one-on-one -on -one conferences, and journal entries. And formative assessment is used to, um, to help guide a student or to help give suggestions or to assess them as they're going along the process. And then for a summative assessment, I would just use their completed work and critique and a self-assessment rubric. So here's an example of a work. I use this using the Image Blender app. I took um, two photos, one a self-portrait of myself and then blended it with a photo I took in Northern California near Grass Valley. What I was thinking about was that um, this area is experiencing wildflowers and drought. Maybe think of what if our arms and legs dried out like tree branches and what if we caught fire? Would that make more people take climate change seriously? So that is it. This lesson could be used for grades six to 12, but I could imagine it being really well used in an after school art, um, art program, a middle school art program. That's it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks.